hello everyone welcome back today we are going to unbox another coffee roaster this is for home use and it is called g400 kaka -K -A, that's the model number obviously it's from china and this can roast up to 400 grams or maybe 500 we don't know uh, it's recommended 400 grams and people roast usually 250 to 300 we are going to find out how much it can roast so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe i'll be posting more videos related to coffee and other products today's video we are going to unbox this and see what are the accessories that came with it and is it good for you or is it good for home roasting let's find out and without wasting time let's open this box and i'll be leaving the link where to buy this item in the description below all my videos i'll put the links where to buy in the description most of them are from amazon so do click that link once you click that link you may get good deals plus i will be getting a very small commission being an amazon associate so it will be helpful if you click my link and purchase these products so let's begin so obviously that's the model number and it has the dc 12 volt motor with 12 watt of power so obviously you need two things you need an electric connection this is us model that i bought so it can accept 110 volt for this motor to work plus you need a stove a gas stove or propane stove for this to work if you have these two items you're good to go Um, you may be wondering why these covers are all empty now because my roaster went through the Canadian border I guess and they charged me TD which is $51 something but thankfully the seller agreed to pay that which is good and I'm uh, really thankful for the seller to do that now that's why you see this covers open because they broke open the seal and they resealed it so that that became i'm just wondering that's more than 15 person here the tax is 15 percent and they charge around 20 percent duty surprise okay welcome to canada now it came with this manual Thankfully, it's in English. So it came with this feeder. This is where you feed in the green beans into the roster. It is well built, nice machine finish. And it has the plastic handle, which is good. And it came with the extra bolt in case you lose. Uh, this is for securing your glass chamber. So like I mentioned, it needs a butane stove. I think it has a detailed instruction. That's good. It gave the roast curve. You cannot connect any machine uh, software to see the roast profile, but it, it gives some decent guide, which is good. I wish it was a color manual and it's in Chinese, the other half. Okay, good. Okay, that's another box. The 
okay this is the adapter for your motor and it's 100, 100 to 240 volt input uh, which is good so you could use in America Canada even in Asian countries 12 volt output well made so that's in that box I see another box here okay I think I have to take this one out okay here I have the thermometer connected I wish it was digital but for this price you cannot ask for anything more than this okay it shows the arrow here at the optimal temperature 400 degree Fahrenheit and it shows in degree centigrade at the bottom and you need to connect this into your roster and it comes with a tiny cap here uh, you'll have to open this before connecting okay I think this is the main item okay so the box is empty I'll keep it aside and this is well packed which is good so this is just covering the handle, the wooden handle. Okay, we'll have to open this. Let me get a knife. And that is the motor. with the on off switch that's where you connect the adapter and this is the on off switch well built now let's open this obviously this is glass so you'll have to be careful with this and this is the bolt I was talking about, the extra ones they give. Okay, so this portion comes off. And this is just the base and the motor. Why I said this is well made is because this thing is heavy. I would say around two kilograms. Two to three kilograms, I would say. It's really heavy. Maybe it's the motor, but the material is thick. Now let's see how to take off, take this cover. Okay. So this is the glass chamber. Obviously I'll have to be careful and this is where you put the fire and it rotates. So first thing you need to remove the, the pepper, the brown pepper in both the ends. That's where you feed the coffee. Okay. So you'll have to remove this bolt. Now you'll have to be careful because like I mentioned this is glass so you have to handle with care. So now I can take out this cover, toss it away and we have a nice 
stainless steel cover and be careful with the glass so that's a thick glass chamber and then take out this paper as well and this is the the other end I would suggest before roasting give a nice rinse and then including the the glass chamber and the cap then you'll be ready to to do the roast so this is what came in the box so you got the adapter your dosing cup thermometer the manual and an extra bolt including those three bolts in order to start all you have to do is give a rinse of the stainless steel material the glass and the cover there don't wash this because this is just a base including the motor which has electric components in it you don't want to you don't want water anywhere near there so after you clean these items you're ready to assemble it back and then you need a stove now here I have a stove an old one so you could use something like this uh, this is a smaller one a camping stove you need to buy uh, the cylinder that goes in here and then you can just fire up this first you need to lock this and fire up and you could adjust the heat here up and minimum maximum and switch off so if you have a stove like this all you do is install this on the top here that's it the base sits nicely you have to be careful you don't want to push push it around you want to ensure that it's stable it sits properly all you have to do is make sure you don't push it and now you can install the top portion where you put the coffee into here now after you've cleaned this and assembled it back the next thing you need to do is install the thermometer which which is fairly simple you need to open this bolt remove this first I think you'll have to use a tool so let me You could use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen it and then you could remove the bolt underneath okay make sure you don't lose that and all you do is there is a hole here So your thermometer should go through it. No, uh, your bolt has to go through it uh, in this angle facing down. And then you need to put the bolt back. and you could tighten it okay that should be good so that is tight and you're good there and then 
you could install the chamber back in there so make sure your thermometer goes in now you have to remove this plastic thing don't forget there's a tiny plastic at the end and now make sure it goes through there and make sure this wheel rest on top of this one because that's where the motor is going to rotate so now it's sitting well and let's plug in and see so i take the adapter here so once you have plugged in your adapter make sure you connect here on the black dot that's it and then you have a switch here where you can switch on as simple as that so obviously the motor works and finally you need to install this on top of the stove Make sure you focus the fire straight up to the glass. And all you need to do is feed in the, the green beans and switch on the fire and the motor. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video of unboxing this and i'll be roasting coffee beans so that's the unboxing video of the simple roaster from amazon uh, so if you like this video please hit that like button in my next video i'll be posting how to roast coffee beans in this so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned and you'll be notified when i post this new video so i'm excited to use this and I'm hoping this will be a good roster, which is useful. Let's find out. So see you guys next time and bye for now.